Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and back to an actual Inktober video. I know it has been a week, and I apologize, it's just life gets a little busy sometimes, and I'm trying to find a way to get my schedule to work with being able to record as well as edit these videos, because I love doing it, and it's really a lot of fun for me, and... It also helps to keep me motivated artistically, if that makes sense. <laughs> because there's been a lot of times where, especially recently, I just don't really have the same drive to draw as much. And creating these videos actually helps to spark a little bit of inspiration and actually get me thinking of things to draw. And it's it's been really fun. and been a nice kind of getaway in a manner of speaking but anyways with this cutie today I wanted to just sit and draw in all reality I didn't have any prompts um or at least like any particular prompts that I was going off of outside of the fact that I knew that I wanted to draw like a cute witchy pin up <laughs> darling and that's how it kind of came to be. At first, I drew her on some stairs. And as I had this drawing going, I realized that the position I wanted her to be in on the stairs, she had her arm, like her left shoulder back and her hand on the railing for the stairs. And in her right hand, she had her wand and she was looking back and... Who knows, maybe she pulled out her wand to fight something. And then I was thinking, and I was like, you know what? No, if she has her wand out, this, this cutie's going to be flying. She's going to be floating in the air, being magical and beautiful and fantastic. And that's kind of just what happened. <laughs> and it was fun. And it just, I feel like taking away the background imagery and just giving her the silhouette of her floating or looking like she's floating with all these magical little stars around her. I feel like made it really soft and cute and playful and magical and really brought the image together the way that I wanted it to be. It was just cartoony, simple, witchy, pinup, and overall just soft and fun and can't go wrong there. Now, I did use a different brush pen that I've used in general. I used the Pigma brush pen. <clears throat> I've had these brush pens for a while now, and I've experimented with them here and there, but I haven't actually used them in an Inktober, I don't believe. And I was watching another artist on Instagram um, when I was browsing through the Instagram feeds and she was using one of these brush pens and it just kind of got me thinking well why don't I try that I know I have it so I pulled it out and decided to give it a go and see how well it would work as well with the the inks and the ink washes because the last thing you want is your line work to bleed when you're going to be laying down a heavy wash, which is typically what I do during Inktober. And that's why I like to line with the the, the brush and the Dr. P.H. Martin's um, matte black Indian ink because I know that once that ink is dry, it is dry. I don't have to worry about water. Um, I don't have to worry about anything like that. Now that can also be a, dis a downside because for very obvious reasons, that is very permanent once it is down. So it's one of those where it's just finding that kind of balance and that workflow for yourself to move fast, but also to take your time and create those smooth lines. I, don't, it, I know that sounds obviously ironic in itself, but... I think you'll understand. <laughs> but all the same, it was fun. I realize I have been kind of absent, but I appreciate you guys coming and saying hi and checking out that little random face reveal even that I did just to give you guys a little heads up and a little update as to 
where I've been. I haven't forgot about you all. I've just, life gets busy and sometimes I can't always track getting some videos recorded, but I'm hoping to at least get one out a week, if not, like I said before, maybe two or three out a week, seeing how much I can do alone in this Inktober and just having fun with it along the way because that's what makes it even more enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Here she is, finished in all the glory, and I think she came out really cute. I appreciate you all being here. Take it easy, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>